Most of you that want to be successful with a dropshipping website haven't fully understood the foundations of how to build and grow a successful e-commerce store. And in today's video, I'm going to go through the four things that I had to learn in the early days. And I started applying to my first ever dropshipping website that enabled me to make my first £100,000 in profit. So if you're currently a beginner that's looking to make your first $100, $200, $300 with your dropshipping business, make sure you watch this whole video. Make sure that you apply the four things that I'm going to go through because I'm sure that if you do, before you know it, you're going to be able to live the life of your dreams. Now, if you find any value in this video at any point, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification. Let's get right into it. All right. So the first thing that you need to be aware of, and you need to start implementing to your Shopify store. And it definitely helped me when it came to making my first 10,000, 50,000, hundred thousand dollars in revenue is the fact that I was selling a product that people was going onto Google to search for. And I know that this sounds kind of obvious, but a lot of you guys that are trying to start your dropshipping store are probably selling items that no one really wants, or you think people want, but realistically no one cares about it like for example if i jump onto google i've just typed in electric extension and as you can see there's all of these different sellers here that are selling all of these different electrical extension cords and this is definitely an item that every single household needs at one point or another because if we go over to google trends i've just typed in extension lead i've set the filters to worldwide since 2004 and as you guys can see since 2005 there's been more and more people going on to google steadily searching for this particular keyword which shows me that this item is an evergreen product that people are going to continuously need because of course they need it when it comes to using appliances for their day-to-day -day life in their house. So these are the type of products that I like to sell when it comes to building my Shopify stores because I know that I'm going to be able to make sales on a daily basis. All right so swiftly moving on to the second thing that I personally did when it came to me seeing a certain level of success with my first ever Shopify store is that I built a multi-product niche store and what this basically means is that I was selling a bunch of different products maybe 20, 30, 40 different products from within one single category. I believe that this is one of the best ways to build a Shopify store in my opinion because if you're selling multiple different products from one single category whenever someone lands on your website they're going to see that you're specialized within one particular niche which is automatically going to build trust with that potential customer not only that it's going to be easier when it now comes to you upselling to any customer that lands on your page and buys something from you which is ultimately going to help you increase the lifetime value for every single customer that you get like for example if I jump back onto eBay and I click on one of these sellers over here so let's click on this seller over here by the looks of it it looks like a Shopify store and they're selling multiple different products from within the same category so they're mainly focused on selling various different electrical adapters and all of these type of products and if we take a look at the categories up here they've got travel adapters shaver adapters power strips all of the different products that they're currently selling come from one single niche and if I was to click on the best sellers category as you guys can see they've got multiple different products available of course you can have success if you're looking to build a one product store but in my opinion that's not the best way to go I I believe it's better to increase your chances of success by having various different items that customers may want and then selling all of those items under one brand so that you're able to build credibility for all of the people that come across your website and the reason why I know that this works is because if we take a look at one of my Shopify stores as you guys can see if I just click on this option over here I've currently got over 50 different items on this one store and of course I'm blocking out all of the different products that I'm selling because I wouldn't want you guys to go and copy me straight after this video but there you go you can see that I'm doing the exact same thing I've got over 50 different different items on the store. I think I've even got a lot more than 50, but because there's more pages, it's only showing the first 50 items on the first page. And all of these different items that I am selling all come from the same category. And the reason why I've done it this way is because as a customer, I wouldn't necessarily want to go into a website or a company that I've never ever heard of before and then see that they're selling items from the dog niche, maybe the baby or the home and garden category. That's not something that I would personally do. So I've built my store in a way that I know that customers will land on it and automatically trust the quality of the products that I'm selling. And that's exactly what this Shopify store is doing right. Not only are they selling items that people are searching for every single day, but they're also selling items from one specific category. And if we take a look at this website over here, it's going to be able to show us how many monthly visitors they get in. And in July, they got around 30,000. Again, in August, they got almost 40,000 visitors. And in September, they got around 30,000 visitors. And based on the average selling price that they're selling the items for, they're making around 20, 30, 40,000 dollars every single month. All right, so moving on to the third thing that I had to do with my dropshipping business to take things to the next level which is that I needed to treat it like a real business and one of the first things that I had to do to make sure that I was treating it like a real business was find a supplier that was going to be able to ship me products in bulk now dropshipping is a great way to get started and I recommend it to you guys that want to test out various different products before you commit to buying any particular item in bulk but once you now realize that you're dropshipping a particular item on a consistent daily basis what you now need to figure out is how you're going to find a supplier that's going to ship you the orders in bulk and then from 
from there you can either ship them out yourself or what you can do is send it to a local fulfillment warehouse that's going to be able to ship it out for you on your behalf and there's so many different reasons why you want to do this and why you need to do it one of the first reasons is that you're going to be able to offer quicker delivery to your customers if you notice that your biggest customer base is in the country that you're living in and you're able to find a supplier that's going to give you the products in bulk and now you're going to be able to offer your customers one to two day shipping this is automatically going to allow you to beat out all of your competition that's still drop shipping the item and the second most important reason why you want to buy the products in bulk is because when you're ordering let's say 20 30 40 different pieces of a particular item at one time your supplier is going to be able to give you a cheaper price for every single unit that you're buying however when you're drop shipping the product to various different people because you're buying the item one at a time the supplier is not really going to be able to offer you a cheap price for each individual item that you're buying when you are drop shipping the product which means that when you are buying the product in bulk you're ultimately going to be able to make more profit for your business which is going to help you reinvest back into your business which is going to help you make more profit over the long term so just to give you an example of what i'm talking about i've just jumped onto aliexpress which is a website that most people use when it comes to testing out various different drop shipping products and i'm using a toilet brush as an example and as you can see there's all of these different toilet brushes that are currently selling really well right now we can see that this supplier on aliexpress is currently charging around two dollars and 97 cents plus 77 cents for you to buy this product one at a time if you did want to drop ship this particular product however the same item is available on alibaba.com which is a website that most people use when it comes to buying orders in bulk at one time and as you can see the same toilet brush is available however there's suppliers on alibaba.com that are selling this product for around 84 cents per unit now of course this supplier is saying that you need to order a minimum of 80 pieces but you're going to be able to negotiate maybe get that down to 50 pieces or even find another supplier that's going to be able to offer you the exact same product and i'm sure that it goes without saying that if you was to buy this one at 84 cents rather than this one at three dollars then you're definitely going to be able to make more money and more profit the more and more units that you sell and of course there is going to be some additional costs associated with this option right here for example shipping fees and import taxes but that's why it's very important to make sure that you educate yourself contact as many suppliers as possible and always make sure that you're negotiating with whatever supplier that you decide to go with and moving on to the fourth and final thing that i'm going to talk about in this video that completely changed my life when it came to building up my first ever drop shipping e-commerce business is that i made sure to build up momentum and what i mean by that is you need to make sure that if you've decided to build your e-commerce business and this is what you want to focus on you need to consistently keep working towards it for the next six months one year two years however long it takes but i can honestly say that one thing that's helped me out with every single online business that i've ever built and that i've made over six figures from or one million dollars from is by working at it every single day and building up that momentum of course you're going to have to pivot now and then test out various different products you're also going to have various different obstacles along the way but as soon as you've made that decision to be committed to building up your dropship and e-commerce business you're going to now find opportunities that are going to be presented to you and when you now take those opportunities on a daily basis before you know it you're going to be living the life of your dreams but of course there's so much more that goes into building an e-commerce dropshipping business i just wanted to give you guys the basics that completely changed my life and allowed me to quit my nine to five job travel the world to various different locations while still being able to make a passive income from my e-commerce stores but if you want to see more videos just like this don't forget to press the like button so that i know this is the type of content that you guys want to see don't forget to subscribe as well and hit the bell notification and if you want to watch a completely free webinar where i go through all of the most important things that i had to learn when it came to building up my first ever shopify business to the point where i was making one thousand dollars per day in profit then you can sign up for that by clicking the first link in the description down below or if you rather watch another youtube video that i made not too long ago where i go through the five steps that you need to take if you're a beginner that's looking to start a shopify business from scratch and you want to start drop shipping i'm going to leave that video right there make sure you check that video out straight after this one because it's already helped out over 20,000 people all right guys i'll see you on the next one make sure you stay safe out there peace